What's up guys, I'm Alan with Edge Auto Support and I'm here today to show you how to use the R4 software for your split second controller on the Focus ST. Uh, this could also apply to Mazda Speed, uh, Fiesta ST, Focus RS, Mustang EcoBoost, all that other stuff. Uh, if you have aux fuel, this is pretty much all gonna be the same. Okay, so you have purchased a tune for me and you have aux fuel installed on your Focus ST or other EcoBoost application that requires it because you have a monster turbo and you need all the fuel. I am going to send you a base aux fuel map and a test map with the first ECU map that I send. The thing to remember is the aux fuel maps are separate from the access port maps because they go on the split second controller, which I have right here. <laughs> So the aux fuel maps are going to go on the split second controller and the ECU map goes on the access port. And that's important. I get asked all the time or I get complaints all the time about how they can't get their map to load because it's not a PTM file. That's because it goes on this and you have to use the R4 software. If you don't get the R4 software when you purchase this, uh, let me know. I can send you a download link. Okay, so once you've opened the R4 software, it's gonna look like this. And if you got a map from me, you're gonna get a test map and a base map to go with it. And the test map is so that you can test your injectors. To do that, we're going to go to open and open test map. And then you need to connect to the R4 to flash it. If you bought a brand new kit then and you haven't done anything with it it's going to have a test map on there you don't need to worry about this i just include the test map with all of my tunes that have aux fuel just because i don't know if it was used kit or not uh, so if it is a used kit you're going to need to flash this test map to your split second controller and then test it uh, so to do that, you're going to want to connect, but to connect, you need to make sure you're on the right COM port. You have a couple different options for COM port, uh, but to see which exact one you're on, you can go to device manager. And this screen capture software is really dragging down this old laptop. Uh, you're going to go to ports and you see we have prolific usb to serial com port and it's on com 4 so we know for sure that it is on com port 4 and we make sure the ignition is on and we hit connect and now we are connected uh we can know we are connected by clicking on real time and look here we have 1.4 volts which that is the idle or sorry that is ambient pressure that's what the map sensor reports ambient pressure as in voltage about 1.4 1.5 we're at high altitudes so it's a little bit lower you may see a little bit higher if you're at sea level uh but yeah and then your fuel map is going to look like this you click on maps and fuel maps and it's going to just have ones or 1.5s or some value in here in this idle region so that when you start the car and the car's idling it has injector data there uh, and it's going to tell the injectors to uh uh, to spray uh, at one millisecond or 1.5 millisecond, whatever I have it set to for your test map. And then you're gonna go in and test the injectors like this. So on this car, the test map is already loaded because it's a brand new split second controller. So we're gonna fire it up. And then we're gonna plug in the injectors one at a time and make sure they fire. You're listening for it to bog a little bit. You don't want to connect it all the way where it clicks in. You just want to lightly touch it so that you can pull it off really quick because you don't want to kill the car. You hear that? You're going to hear this like buzzing sound from the injector and you're going to hear the engine bog just a little bit. So we know that number one works, just bog. All right. So they all test out. You hear the buzz, you hear the engine bog, and you just wanna do it just enough to hear that. You don't wanna hold it in there because you're gonna flood the engine. All right, so now that we've tested the, the injectors, we're going to close the test map customer. We're gonna open our fuel map here, and we're still on COM port four. We're going to connect 
And then in order to write this fuel map to the ECU, you go to maps, fuel maps, and then first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, as this is supposed to set up to spray the injectors, you're going to wanna to scroll to the right here and make sure that you have injector data because sometimes when you download these maps, the injector data erases itself. That's one of the buggy things that's kind of annoying about this R4 software. Uh, sometimes it will erase itself, so you gotta be careful and just make sure that you have injector data in your fuel map. Uh, both the map A and B are gonna look the same. Uh, so you don't really need to worry about that. You can check it if you want. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and write this to the file, uh, to, the, to the split second controller. And you're, so you're gonna click up here on this little truck that says write data. One of them says read data. You don't wanna do that unless you have a use kit and you wanna save whatever map file is on it. You can read that and save it as a different one. Um, but uh, we wanna write data to ECU. So we're gonna click write, click yes. And then it's gonna look like this. It's gonna say writing ECU map A, and then it's gonna finish that, and then say writing ECU map B. It's gonna take just a few seconds. Okay, so it's written, we're done. It's not gonna give you any notifications. It's just gonna stop showing that it is writing, and that means it has been written. So we're gonna close that out, and we're gonna go ahead and fire up the car. So to record a log in the split second controller, you're going to just click this button here, start capture, and it's gonna record. And you're just gonna let it run. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have a nice long serial to USB cable so that you can reach it from your split second controller in the engine bay all the way to the cabin. And then you're gonna be able to take a log on the street. After you've done your log, uh, you just hit stop capture, and then you click on view view recordings and we can see the recording that we just made so yeah so uh, shows us which we're just logging idle so you're not going to see any injector pulse happening at idle but when you go full throttle and the injectors are coming in you should see the injectors uh, uh, lines populate with the uh, injector pulse wind. Uh, and if it's not working you may not see that so that's something that you would want to address with me um, but you're probably not going to have to do this unless I specifically tell you to. In most cases, you'll never have to worry about this. So anyways, uh, that is all for the split second controller. We can go ahead and disconnect uh, and close our customer. You're going to want to make sure that your injectors are plugged in and that you've flashed the map for uh, your ECU map that goes with the aux fuel map because there are changes on the ECU side that have to account for the added fuel coming in from the aux fuel side. So if you haven't flashed that or if you haven't plugged your injectors in, uh, you may run into some problems there. Just something to be careful with and, and be mindful of. So that's gonna be about all there is to uh, managing the split second controller or the R4 software. If you're not already working with me for an eTune, getting an eTune from me is easy. You just search eTune on the website, edgeautosport.com. And if you have Oxfuel, there's just a drop down for you to choose for port injection. And if you are looking to get port injection, we sell that on the website as well. You can pick that up from us and we can take care of tuning and parts for you. Anyways, I hope this video has been helpful. Be sure and subscribe to our channel if you want more content like this, and we'll catch you next time.